Okay, here's my grandmother's suitcase with her quilting stuff. I'll go through the... This is a little embroidery thing that belonged to her. This is the material. See if you can see it. Piece of material. Probably from... She said she made this quilt when my mom was a baby. That was, my mom was born in 1920, so that would have been somewhere during the years. This looks like a quilt she was working on. And this trunk I found, um, well, I just found it up in my attic. It was handed down to my mom, who didn't sew, and then it was handed on to me because I did some sewing, but I've never made a quilt. These, some kind of little animals, I guess they're like a lamb. If you can see them, I'm not getting my arm in the way. This one still has pins in it. It's not sewn. I thought this one was a pretty pattern. Okay. This is that group. I don't think she ever made a quilt out of it. This is a piece of material. I really can't read what it says on there. Soft something. It's got an old label on it. Yeah, this must have been another, it's pretty long quilt she was working on. Here's the back. Let me turn my camera around here. Can I get it? Zoom in on it a little here. So you can see her stitches. I thought that was pretty interesting. And there's another one of those little lambs. It's a piece of material. I can't really read the label. Looks like maybe it was going to be the edge of something. It says Manufacturing Company Lewiston. Can't really read because it's. Oh, sorry, I wasn't holding the camera. Part of the label's missing. Okay. You can see the front of this, how old it is. Okay, I found this little packet. I don't know. It's sort of like a see through material. I'm not. A sewer, so I think it's called organza. It's different little squares. Well, I'm holding everything too high. Okay. Different little squares. Some have, I don't know if you can see that, has polka dots. I don't know what they were for. Okay, and then you can see all these little scraps of materials. I think that's just what quilters do. Save all these little pieces. And this color is interesting. This is a color that's on my quilt. So I'll show you in a minute. Well, I have some patching material if I ever need it. Okay, these are cut out in a shape. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Oh, sorry. That looks like just scraps. And polka dots. Another cutout shape. These here are all cut out too. Same thing, I don't know. That one's pretty daisies. These two are sewed together, so I don't know what that. I don't know what she was making there, or if that was just a test piece. Okay, 
This has... I don't know. A boy and a girl on it. Okay, I'm not going to show you all these little raggedy pieces. I'm sure they're just what quilters keep for scraps. Okay, these, this is another set. Everything here is cut out. These are little bonnets. And they're stitched around. And there's like these other shapes. I don't know. Maybe they were part of the pattern. They're in all different colors. She obviously was going to make a quilt out of that. And these were with it. They're little white. Oh, sorry. I hope I'm showing them in the camera. These are little, a whole stack of those white pieces. I'll show this one again in case I didn't get it on the screen. It's a little girl's bonnet. And the reason I know that's a bonnet is I'll show you the pattern. Found these down in the bottom of the box. Put the lights on that. Oh, no. It's a little girl's bonnet, and that's the bonnet right here. I can see that that's what that was going to be. Okay, these are her. Like I said, I'm not a quilter. These are some kind of paper patterns. Maybe for the stitching. I'll go through them. I'll put the white behind so you can see them. Like that. Like that. This looks like a butterfly to me. There's that one. There's another similar one. I found lots of these shapes. They're pinned together. I don't know, like different color groups are pinned together. Oh, sorry. Different ones are pinned together. And I don't know if you can see this, if it'll show up on camera. There's like a little wire pin here. I have no idea what that's for. It looks like a, like a giant bobby pin. Maybe something... Maybe I'll hold up against this. I don't know. Something to do with quilting. It's about that big. And then here's some more of the green quilt stuff and pinks. I think you can see the rest is just little scraps and odds and ends, not very big. And cut out shapes. Well, here's some kind of plaid. Maybe it looks like it was a border or something. Okay, so you can see, oh, there's some more patterns down the bottom. Whoop, you can see it. This might be broken. It looks like there's a couple pieces. It looks like a zigzag. You can get in the camera. A zigzag pattern. Okay. That's it for the material. There's another paper pattern. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff back in the box or the suitcase. And I'll show you my quilt. Okay, I move the camera. This is the only quilt that's left from my grandmother. And this shape here seems to be the pattern that was sewn on it. And I'll bring the camera closer so you can See if I can zoom in. Okay, this here fits in here exactly. I put it on there. Let's see where. Oh, you're looking up here.
Okay, and I'll show you the back of the quilt. I don't know if you can see the stitches. There's that shape again. And there's all crisscrosses and really fine details. And this here is frayed on the end, so if anyone knows how to, this should be repaired, please let me know. There's a few little rips in it, but it's a big double bed quilt. It's a big star, so you can see. I'll stand on this side and show you. Hold it up. Let me zoom out. Okay, that's the center of it. It's got a green border. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot.